Um, but we started making bags back in 1970 in San Jose. And we've been between the factory that we're in right now and two other locations in San Jose the entire time. Uh, we originally started when our owner, Gary Shazlin, got fed up with the sleeping bags he was using in Boy Scouts. Uh, so him and, him and his partner started Western Mountaineering to make some lighter weight gear. Um, we kind of got into it with the mentality that down, if it's taken care of, will last about 60 years. It can last up to 60 years if you take really well, good care of it. So we wanted to make bags that'll last as long as the insulated material inside of them. And so we've always handmade our bags in San Jose. Any given bag is touched by, um, by about three people in the entire construction lifetime of it. Uh, and like we were saying earlier, the, the, the signatures of the two yeah. people who sewed the bag together are actually inside of the bag, yeah. They're often uh, legible. But we've always thought that handmaking the bags using as few people as possible was the easiest way to have the highest level of quality assurance in the bags themselves to uh, make sure that everyone comes back. It comes out to the standard that we want it to be at. And to those ends, we've always used the best materials that we can source. Right now we use face fabrics and uh, all of our fabrics are from some producers in South Korea and Japan. But we custom order all of the textiles of materials that we use so that they all have a balanced weave of fabric. When you're trying to make a material downproof, um, it turns out that it has a much longer lifespan if you have that balanced weave. Yeah, so at this point, all of our stuff is filled with um, with the same 850 plus fill power down um, that we've been using for the past 30 or 40 years. We sell all of our bags with a sure. oversized pillowcase, um, but just store it in a storage sack like that. Don't leave the thing in the compression sack. Um, if you're like backpacking or traveling, then it's not that big of a deal if it's compressed for a couple of days. Um, but if you're storing it for long periods of time or if you're storing it at home, leave the thing in here. It'll help maintain its loft and it'll help uh, prevent damage to the down. Um, eventually, like the down will get damaged by having it compressed for so long. Our fiber fabric and our Gore Windstopper, um, the Extreme Light, this stuff right here and the same stuff that the Versalite you guys have. Um, and that one right there, actually, that's a finer denier version of the same fabric, but that's our best selling fabric for everything that's over 15 degrees. Um, that's our lightest weight fabric. It's extremely compactable. It's, it's fairly breathable and it's fairly waterproof. We hit that like all of our other fabrics with the DWR. Um, it's also the most delicate fabric and it's not the most water, need the most breathable or the most waterproof. Um, the stuff compacts down like crazy and it weighs nothing. Um, and again, uh, all of our bags that are like over 15 degrees, that's what we sell the most of. Like all of our fabrics, it's a single rip stop. If you look, um, if you have like a little lens and you could look at the, at the little rip stop squares, um, there's just going to be a single line mm -hmm. through the fabric and it's, uh, it's actually going to be a, a thread that's the same denier as the rest of the fabric. Um, but we, uh, it gets like stretched out, I believe and then it um it like compresses itself back together some companies will like use like a a triple rip stop or a double rip stop or they'll use like a thicker thread for the rip stop but any of those things will uh well first off like doing more rip stops we think is overkill it's like not necessary um but using more of them or using a higher denier thread will actually create the potential for more gaps that the down can get out of we have this fabric specially made in our factory um, all of our bags that are I want to say 15 degrees to minus 20 degrees uh, we'll make out of uh, microfiber as well as a core wind stopper. Um, but any, anything that's colder than 15 degrees, the warmest bag that we make out of microfiber is our Apache. But then the microfiber will dominate like all of our sales from zero degrees to 15 degrees. That's, that's the most popular range for that. Uh, we make a lot of bags that are colder than that in microfiber, but we just don't sell as many of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the stuff's awesome. Like you can like make like a depression on the bag and just like pour a glass of water on it, and the water won't go through the material. If you like press on it, put any pressure on it, then it'll bleed through. But like other than that, the water will just float on top of it. It's awesome. The less breathable a bag is, the more moisture that comes off of your body will condense on the inside of the shell. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see that a lot in like the Gore Windstopper, like the really wet resistant bags, right? Um, is you'll like get like a film of water that'll accumulate on the inside of the shell. Um, and even on those shells, it'll do that. But on the microfiber bag, that will breathe through a little bit more. So it should be loftier, longer, huh? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, if you're, if you're using it for that extended amount of time. Interesting.
Um, so then after the microfiber, we have our Gore Windstopper fabric, um, and that's really popular for all of our bags that are under zero degrees and all of our like, true winter bags. Um, those actually have a different construction than the other bags. Um, but I brought our, uh, our Puma in for you guys, and this is a minus 20 degree bag. Uh, and this is like a, when they get, uh, I think it's the Lynx um, and Warmer. We have like, uh, we call them like full expedition bags, but we'll let, like layer the thing up with features. Like the whole interior of the hood is made out of the same Gore Windstopper material. Um, it'll have uh, the construction of the baffles I'll talk about in a second is a little bit different, so it has a little bit more down control. Um, we'll actually have the foot of the bag on the inside made out of a more robust material. It's a similar taffeta to what we line the rest of the bags with, but the bottom here, you can see it's a little bit of a different color. But this will be more robust for like wearing your boots inside of the bag for when it's really cool. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, but this Gore Windstopper material is awesome. Um, we've used like a number of different things from Gore, but we've always kind of been with WL Gore uh, for our like most, most weather resistant bags. From my understanding, like Windstopper is mostly used in like gloves and things like that and some like cycling mm -hmm. apparel. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're one of the only folks that use it for sleeping bags. Um, and this stuff's great, like it's super downproof. We still order the stuff with a custom fabric. Um, the Gore will then like add the laminate to. Um, this stuff's crazy weatherproof. All of, our, uh, all of our microfiber bags, you can also buy with the Gore Windstopper material. So people will be buying warmer bags with this material thinking that like, yeah, like the more weather resistant it's gonna be, the warmer it's gonna be, like that's gonna be the kick-ass thing. But it can actually be detrimental using this material depending on your conditions because like I was saying earlier, the um, it doesn't breathe as well as the microfiber. It like mm -hmm. trades that off for this crazy weather resistance. And so the condensation from your body will all get trapped inside the sleeping bag and it won't be able to escape. Um, but for most things over zero degrees, um, we'd, we'd recommend the, um, using the microfiber or the, the extreme light depending on which bag you want. Um, but for anything below zero, if you want like that like true winter bag, then this can be awesome. But we updated the material we're using, um, but this is what we've got right now. Um, but it's this like super feather light material that's um, this laminated polyester or laminated nylon, I believe. Um, and what that does is it prevents any moisture from your body from getting into the bag. It's, it's like a, it's like a, a nicer space blanket, right? Huh. And so yeah. what that will do is if you're using one of these bags for a really extended amount of time, you can wear that inside of the bag and it'll prevent your moisture from accumulating. All of our draft colors are, they're not sewn to a single point, they're sewn to two separate um, anchoring lines mm -hmm. that are a few inches apart, so it will, um, it, it'll provide a little bit more comprehensive warmth and, curtain and make a tube rather than just like a flap that's hanging around, <laughs> um, like a lot of folks do. The most complex part of the bags, for the most part, um, especially on the cooler bags, is the inside of the hood and all of the parts around the hood. Um, I was showing you guys all of the shells are sheet cut on a big table. For the smaller components, so like the, the draft colors and the interiors of the hood, all those are covered with a hot knife. So every edge of every piece is sealed by heat hmm. as it's going through to make that a little bit more durable. Um, but as you get to the warmer bags, you'll have more complex draft colors. Um, all our passive draft colors will just be the single portion on the front of it. Uh, any of the others? We'll have a full tube that'll wrap from front to back. Um, all of the, all of the um, Velcro or the, the hook and loop closures rather, uh, it's like this molded hook and loop that's a lot more pleasant like if it's rubbing up against your skin or whatever than like an actual Velcro. It's also a little bit stronger um, and more durable. Those are all sewn to like non-structurally integral parts of the bag. So if that does get ripped, you're not gonna lose any down. And so that's attached to these, um, it's attached to these tubes that we have for the cinches. Um, the cinches are all triple anchored. It'll be a passive thing, yeah. um, but all of our full draft collar bags have a cinch to pull that thing closed. Um, after that, when you start getting to the warmer bags, we'll have a um, like a draft block that's along the zipper, and this will actually be like a separate tube of down that's attached right here along the zipper that'll provide like a barrier for the seam that the zipper creates. Um, that'll run along the entire length of the zipper. Um, in the lighter bags, they won't necessarily have that draft, they won't have that draft tube just because you don't need it as much with a lighter bag. Um, but as you get warmer, the construction of that gets a little bit more complex. So you can go to the Puma over here and you can actually see, the camera. Um, it'll actually have a pair 
of draft oh, blocks. Really? And so it's got this one big tube right here and this one big tube right here, which will actually interlock. And those will like fully, fully protect that and like add a little bit of cushion, add a little bit of lock to it to prevent that. So when you get to the warmer bags, the construction of the baffling actually changes a little bit too. Whereas this guy was a continuous baffle that wraps all the way around and it has those draft tubes at the end. This will have the double draft tubes and it'll actually have the side blocks that'll add down control. So the warmer bags don't have a continuous construction around the whole way, but it'll actually have right here and right here, these V-shaped blocks that are also filled with down, yeah. um, that'll add down control. And that makes the entire thing warmer. It adds more down, gives it a little bit more loft and makes the, uh, makes the down a little bit more comprehensive, but it also keeps the down from moving around. So you always have this big, big blanket of down around you. Like, at no point will you get like a cold spot in one of these drafts, yeah. in one of these baffles. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the microfiber bags are also a little bit more durable because it does have that heavier denim yeah. fabric. It's made in lengths that are kind of relative to the lengths of those bags. But the idea is you can open the thing up and you can use it as a quilt, or you can take it and put it over your bag and add like an extra 10 degrees. Uh, the whole thing's sewn through, so whereas those bag, any of those bags, they're baffled, um, they'll have these chambers that are sealed by this like netting um, that'll actually make it warmer. This one, to make it a little bit lighter, it's just sewn through and each of these little pockets has down. Um, so the idea of these guys is that you would actually toss a bag inside of it, um, and because it does add that extra lock to the outside of it, it'll actually make the thing warmer. Yeah. And it'll make it act like 10 or 15 degrees warmer. But then you can also use it as a standalone bag. Um, you can use the thing as like, you know, like a like a 45 or like 40 degree bag in the summer. Um, but the thing's awesome. It, it packs down super light. There's this one and the Mighty Light um, in this kind of like purpley color. But the Mighty Light's a partially sewn through, partially baffled mummy bag. So, um, horizontally, it has baffles, but then vertically it's sewn through, just so it'll like have that down control while having very little down, um, but it'll still have a little bit of warmth. And that one's more of a full bag. Um, a standalone bag. Exactly, yeah. Um, but the thing pack sounds so small, like this one or the Mighty Light, like you can pack the thing down to like the size of a Nalgene. They, they get so small, it's awesome. Do you see that adds 10 to 15 degrees? This will add 10 to 15 degrees to it, yeah. Yeah, so um, the idea here is that you know you can like that's kind of a summer cool. bag and then you totally yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Bag and throw that over in October and boom. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, that's how you get your like three in one action going, right? And so you can cinch the thing down right here so oh. it'll close the thing up effectively. Yeah.